Sahlan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to welcome you all to the sixth International Procurement and Supply Chain Conference 2021, presented by Blue Ocean Conferences. Please welcome to the stage the Senior Director for Supply Chain Lead of Africa Middle East at Pfizer, Stacey Tackett, to the stage. Please give her a very warm welcome. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to be with you today to talk about how Pfizer is moving towards a responsible and sustainable global supply chain. I'd like to thank Blue Ocean, as well as our event sponsors, for connecting us all and bringing us here together. Personally, this is my first face-to-face -face conference since uh, the pandemic, and it really feels good to be here and interacting with you all today. I'll start with some facts and figures about Pfizer. In 2020, Pfizer delivered $41.9 billion in revenue, enabled through 41 manufacturing sites globally. These are both internal sites, global and local. We delivered product to over 125 countries across the world. And we had seven products delivering more than $1 billion in revenue in 2020. 95 development projects, all enabled through over 78,000 employees. These employees are all working towards our purpose to enable breakthroughs that change patients' lives. And that feels more real today than ever before as we approach the one year anniversary of our breakthrough COVID vaccine. For me, I feel, feel very proud to see where we are today and, and feel that I had a part in that and that the, uh, the Pfizer organization had a part in that. Within supply chain, our global supply chain is enabling those breakthroughs, providing a source of competitive advantage and really driven by our patient and customer-centric supply chain. This is enabled through a fully integrated digital and autonomous supply chain. So it's really built around this pyramid with the base being our talent of the future. We're working to enable colleague capabilities reflecting our new supply chain vision. We are using a base of our culture, which is courage, excellence, equity, and joy to develop our colleagues and ensure that we are well positioned to meet our patient and customer needs in the future. A big part of that is di digital innovation, innovation. So ensuring business insights are based in a foundation of data and analytics, enabling role-based decision support. We have autonomous supply chain, so working to eliminate transactional-based work and moving towards smart technology. Supply chain visibility, ensuring all of our colleagues have the right technology and tools to enable that role-based decision-making and look at opportunities end-to-end -end and evaluate risks through scenario planning. And finally, at the top of our pyramid is the customer and patient. So working to ensure our supply chain is a critical business partner ensuring that we're developing those innovative supply chain solutions. And I'd like to talk about how we were moving towards a responsible and sustainable supply chain, and I'll do that through outlining a case study example. So profiling our logistics delivery solution that we developed for the COVID vaccine. Our vaccine must be maintained within an ultra low temperature environment, specifically when it, within a temperature range of negative 60 to negative 90 degrees Celsius. And although the vaccine storage conditions have become more relaxed over time, when the product was launched, there was very little flexibility in terms of maintaining these temperature requirements. So the, the goal was to deliver the product from our manufacturing plants to the point of use or vaccination centers in the most robust way possible, ensuring that the product maintained those stringent temperature controls throughout the logistics and distribution of the product and doing that in the most efficient way possible. So we developed an innovative packaging solution that you can see here, where 195 vials were bundle packed into a, a tray, and then five of those trays were placed into an ultra low temperature innovative specialty shipper. 
That shipper maintained the temperature conditions between negative 60 and negative 90 degrees Celsius for a period of up to 10 days throughout the transit of the goods. Now that delivery solution allowed us to reach a broad, uh, a broad number of locations in very remote areas. So it also enabled our customers to use that thermal shipper as a temporary storage location to ensure the, the goods were maintained within that required temperature condition for the administration of the vaccine. So this thermal shipper was also enabled with a GPS tracking device. It's a controllant device that ensured that our logistics control tower understood the location and the temperature conditions throughout the distribution of the, the product. And the end result is we delivered the goods to the point of use or customer specific location. And that was done within four days for approximately 99% of the shipments at a quality rate of 99.9%. And there was a reverse logistics set up as well where that shipper was then collected from our customers, sent back to our manufacturing plant, and core components were reused again for the distribution of the vaccine. So I think this is a nice example of how we were able to utilize that supply chain vision in terms of talent of the future, digital innovation, supply chain autonomy, visibility, and ultimately customer and patient focus to, to deliver a unique responsible and sustainable solution for a very unique situation. And I'd like to thank you for your time today, and I look forward to interacting with you for, throughout the rest of the day. Thank you. We would like to give you a small token of our appreciation, and to help do that, please welcome back on stage Mr. Muhammad Al Ali and Ms. Disha Gaykwad, who is Head of Corporate Relations at Blue Ocean, to do the honours. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.